addition can change my love for you. No culture can change the way I love you. No tradition. You know, I, I requested for for the seat to be set here for four of us to to settle down and analyze what I just come up. Because I believe we needed to be somehow separated from the palace for us to talk like men, mature men. You know, I remember vividly when the queen was um, very sick. Cancer it was. And king here, my friend, needed to save his wife. And he spent a lot of money and the queen was still not saved. It went to the extent that uh, he started to raise money from the bank to save the woman, and he used the palace as collateral. Unfortunately, the queen didn't make it. Not only did my friend become a widower, he became a very poor man, miserable poor man at that. I remember that story. The rumor around town had it that the king was going to lose the palace to the bank. If we but it was not just rumor. It was happening for him. Because at that point, the bank had actually left a quick notice at the gate of the palace, instructing the occupants to leave, that they want to start the process of getting their money back. In fact, the king was actually preparing to leave the facility when the first alert came. 50 million naira to be precise. From the anonymous donor who simply identified himself as anonymous son of the soil. He was very emphatic that uh, the king should have to use the money to start paying back what he borrowed from the bank and equally to give the queen a befitting burial. <sighs> so you actually mean you were the person who sent that 50 million naira a lot? Yes, I am the one. Okay. I, I equally remember when the king himself became sick. The two kidneys were bad, they said. Yes. And uh, we needed a donor. You know the kind of country where we live? Mm. Nobody was willing to donate. We needed a donor. And there was no donor, even when we have people everywhere. So we came up with a strategy. We approached the hospital to tell them that the palace we pay 20 million naira to whosoever that will donate kidney. When we say this, we weren't sure where this money was going to come from. We just needed to save the king. Let me guess. He ended up getting the quick replacement without paying a dime. Exactly. And that was because as soon as that publication went on air, the hospital called us to say, that uh, an anonymous donor has given them the 20 million naira to pay anybody who will donate a kidney for the king. And there were many people that were willing to donate kidney. And uh, that was how the king was saved. And are you telling me also that you were that same person? And flesh and blood. I remember again when uh, when we needed money for community development, like uh, pipe bone water, you know, constructing a uh, culvert, like accessible route to some of the remote villages in Umuebe. We needed money, and uh, from nowhere, the same anonymous donor gave us money for that. You mean you? you actually the one that has done all these things for us in this kingdom? 
Your Majesty, I am the one. Okay. Okay, let me also remember when uh, the governor was to pay us a visit in this community and uh, we needed money to organize the wonderful reception for the governor and there was no money and the youth of Umwebe, to avoid shame, decided to raise money in the youth platform. The money they didn't even have. Exactly. But they just needed to do something. But before they could realize what was happening, as soon as that notification was published on the platform, the same anonymous donor gave us 20 million naira for us to organize a reception for the governor. And an extra 30 million, which was used to offer the youths scholarship into the university. Ichi, I believe that your son is currently abroad, benefiting from that money. Well, I'm not going to deny that. You are right. Mm. If only he knew that the, the, the man in question is an immoral man. Show sure word. Show sure word. Uh, um, <clears throat> Your Majesty, the rumor had it that you have been desperately searching for this anonymous donor with the hopes that when you find him, you will make the princess leave Obiago and marry him. Even though you have not met him, you don't know if he is an old man or not. Uncle, that's enough. That's enough. I believe the king recalls and accepts that Ubiago, though a man of Fumunura, is indeed a son of the soil. This is all my fault. This is all happening because I have not found that particular young man that I have been searching for. If I would found him, the princess would have probably taken a liking to him by now. <sighs> this is one of the reasons I have been searching for him. Pardon me, Father, but... Um, you speak so highly of a man that you have not set your eyes on. You have never seen this man before, Father. What if he's an old man? What if he's some rickety old man sitting somewhere and communicating with you, Father? What if he's much older than you are? First of all, from his letters, I can tell you here and now that the person that I have been dealing with is not an old man. He is a young man. Secondly, isn't any rickety old man better an option than a man from Umurala village? What if he's a married man, Father? I'm sure he's not. You speak of a man, Father, that you have never met before. And again, I will accept him any way he comes. It will be better than accepting any man from Umurala. Besides, what if your sister is in Umurala right now as we are talking? Oh well, we all know that she's there right now as we speak. Then I am pretty sure she is breaking things up with that young man. Dad. Why? Why, father? What will people say? What if the rumor spreads and everyone gets to hear about it? How would it make us look? Son, I am telling you that it is over. I think we should busy ourselves with putting a call through to our private investigator, asking him how far he has gone and finding a strange man. Because as far as I am concerned, that young man is your sister's husband. That is the only thing I can think to compensate him. Father, 
I quite agree with you that you are indeed the son of the soil. And that is why you saved my life, my home, my throne, and our kingdom. The question I ask is what can I do to remedy the situation? Uh, Your Majesty, I am privileged to be amongst the few people who are benefiting from government policy on agriculture. I have worked so hard to be here and I'm impressed. And I ask again, what exactly can I do to pay you back? In a heart of voice shouting, yeah, moves be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, yeah, moves be cleansing in the land. Are you breaking up with me? Hell no. God forbid. Where's that coming from? First, you told me you were going to see my father. Now you come home with this look on your face, telling me there's something you think I should know. I don't understand. What did my father tell you? Hey. See, there's a lot I need to tell you. I'm not going to leave you. But I'm afraid that you're going to leave me instead after hearing what I'm going to tell you and keeping it away from you all this while. Now you're beginning to scare me. If Obiago turns out to be my faceless donor, let me run mad. Raving mad, oh yes. If this man here turns out to be my faceless donor, I will give it to a roadside beggar and crown the person king in my place. I will do it! To rule over who? See, listen. If my Gandhian angel that I have been dealing with all this while turns out to be this man sitting here, I would not mind pulling my clothes and running around this kingdom naked. <laughs> You're not angry. Believe me, I am not. I should be, but I'm not. But I'm not happy you kept this away from me all this while. But I can imagine the, the expression on my father's face after you revealed everything to him. That overrides every anger. Hi, I wish I was there to see that priceless look on my father's face. should see your face. <coughs> <coughs> you need to see the look on your face that you should get a mirror. <laughs> oh my goodness. Why is it that nobody told me this was going down? That I would have loved. I would have given everything to be present, Dad. Goodness me. Uh -huh. How does it feel, Dad? Uh -huh. To know that the one that you call your guardian angel is the one man that you'd have given anything to kill. Hi. Irony of life. Uh, are you making mockery of me? Mm? No. Come on. <laughs> How can I make mockery of you? You've had enough disgrace for one day. <laughs> to laugh. Uh, you see, what you went through today will last you a lifetime. But I also think that it's it's a good lesson that, that, that don't be looking at me like that. Now you're, that you're the one making me laugh. All right, listen. I'll just keep a straight face. <clears throat> this is actually very serious. Yeah, let's try. Let's keep a straight face, Dad. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you know, in my father's words, he said he will hand over his crown to a roadside beggar if he finds out that the anonymous donor turns out to be you. I hope he does it. <laughs> Now my father finally understands what it means to eat his own words. <laughs> you know, he welcomed me and um, hugged me, then said thank you. I believe it is a sufficient way of eating his words. Who cares? I don't care. I don't give two hoots. All I know is my father now knows that the anonymous donor is you, my lovely baby. <laughs> ah, Dad, ah, as a matter of fact, I think that you should get ready to, you know, dance around the entire kingdom naked, for that is what you said you would do, Dad. It's fine, Dad, I'm not laughing. Uh. <laughs> All right, I have had enough of that. <laughs> uh, Dad, that does a part of me. That really wants to tell you, sorry. But then I'm not sorry, Dad. I kept telling you to give this man a chance, but you didn't listen to me. So I'd like to know what the next step would be. All right, Father, how are you going to tell the people of Umwebe Kingdom that the rejected stone is now the chief cornerstone? Now don't make that face now, you're gonna make me laugh. <laughs> hey! Who would have thought? Father, this is unbelievable. Like a real life fairy tale story with moral lessons. You can say that again. My goodness. Father, every single maiden in Umwebe owes the princess an apology. I mean, every single individual that has ever benefited from Obiago owes the princess a serious apology. Do you know why I am smiling and happy? It is because for the very first time, my daughter and myself are on the same page. Yes, so oh, Father. Why will I not be on the same page with you? Meanwhile, what has the king decided? I mean, what decision has he taken as regards to the festival? The answer is very simple. The festival of marriages could still be led by the princess. So long as you can allow her to get married to Obiago, who will equally accept to take the other title. As simple as that. There's a Dibia. Do you realize this is a man of Umurola we are talking about here? Your Majesty, I know we are talking about a man of Umurola. And that is the reason I insist that he should take the other title. It seems we are forgetting something very vital here. Oh, Your Majesty, we are not forgetting anything at all. I know that tomorrow people are cursed people. But Obiago, Obiago is a spitting image of that particular person that cursed them. Their looks and character, the same. And if you ask me, I will say that if I'm a ludicre, ha! If I'm a ludicre, if I'm a ludicre, the people that are ludicre, no seven who sing a ludicre, be a good one. If I'm a ludicre, the very man that laid that curse upon them has come, has reincarnated the true Ubiago. To amend things. How, how do you mean? I don't understand. It's the Dibia. He has come to take us back 
to where it all started. So that the history can be rewritten. Is it Dibia? You are confusing me the more. Your Majesty, I am not confusing you. I am simply saying that if a melodica. Hey! If a melodica. If a melodica has reincarnated through Obiago, try and get it. If a melodica. People tell you that they must say that they are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. They are not going to be able to do it. If a melodica has reincarnated through Obiago, to correct a whole lot of things. And don't forget, you've heard it. The time shall come when that same person that caused them will forgive his people. How would you know? When you don't allow the chance, how would you know? Let Obiago take this title and watch out. See how the gods will spell out the situation. And what if this is not the time? What if the dead man is still very angry? And what if Obiago dies in the process of wanting to take this title? These are many questions begging for answers. Can't you see? Your Majesty, don't get it wrong. Don't be faster than the gods. There is no guarantee of what should happen during the also time to take it. No guarantee. Whether he will die, whether he will live, there is no guarantee. The important thing is that Obiago should be allowed to take the also title, just like his ancestors did years ago. Which means there is every possibility that he may even die before he is declared an also. If I, if, if, if I allow him to do this, what would the people say? They will simply say that I am an ingrate because of the things he has done for me and for this kingdom at large. Are you not seeing it from that angle? Then, have you heard about this? Your Majesty, the old has come to correct their own error. Metabolo, leave it at that. I would do it. Sorry, what exactly do you mean? You heard me, Your Majesty. If that is all we take for me to become husband to the woman I love, I would do it. My son, I would have you know that this is not a game. There is no guarantee that you will not die on the day of coronation. I want you to think this through, please. Do you have any other solution? Not the one. Then taking the other title is what I will definitely do. You will do no such thing. Opiago, it will be over my dead body. Go. Mind the things you say. Opiago. Are you insane? Have you completely gone out of your mind? How can you wake up one morning and decide to do something that will kill you? Tell me, how are you sure that taking that title will not end your life? Where is your guarantee? We are still under the course. My love. Support me here. Support you? Look, you only get to be supported when you discuss this kind of a decision with your partner first before taking them. See, I'm only doing this I know why you're doing this, Obim. But do you really need to meet a certain condition before being with me? Am I not with you already? Am I not already here? Obia. If you're desperate to legalize your union with her, why don't you just go to the court? If a melody came, the very man that laid that course upon them, 
has come, has reincarnated through Ubiago to amend things. How, how do you mean? I don't understand. Is the deep He has come to take us back to where it all started so that the history can be rewritten. Is the deep You are confusing me the more. Your Majesty, I am not confusing you. I am simply saying that if a melodica, hey, if a melodica, if a melodica has reincarnated through Obiago, try and get it. If a melodica, people tell the king, they must say, "Boku si njedi kopi ya kona nunda wunu wunu." Muna ba bo dikizu wanda wanu bori mama. Nakara ba ne sera ba ne ne. Muyi kongo biake ne na okanga ba la mo umbo kudike. If a melodica has reincarnated through Obiago. To correct a whole lot of things. And don't forget, you've heard it. A time shall come when that same person that caused them will forgive his people. How would you know? When you don't allow the chance, how would you know? Let Obiago take this title and watch out. See how the gods will spell out the situation. And what if this is not the time? What if the dead man is still very angry? And what if Obiago dies in the process of wanting to take this title? These are many questions begging for answers. Can't you see? Your Majesty, don't get it wrong. Don't be faster than the gods. There is no guarantee of what's should happen during the also time to take it. No guarantee. Whether he will die, whether he will live, there is no guarantee. The important thing is that Obiago should be allowed to take the also title, just like his ancestors did years ago. Which means there is every possibility that he may even die before he is declared an also. If I, if, if, if I allow him to do this, what would the people say? They will simply say that I am an ingrate because of the things he has done for me and for this kingdom at large. Are you not seeing it from that angle? Then, have you heard about this? Your Majesty, the old has come to correct their own error. Matabu, leave it at that. I would do it. Sorry, what exactly do you mean? You heard me, Your Majesty. If that is all we take for me to become husband to the woman I love, I would do it. My son, I would have you know that this is not a game. There is no guarantee that you will not die on the day of coronation. I want you to think this through, please. Do you have any other solution? Not a one. Then taking the other title is what I will definitely do. You will do no such thing. Obiago, it will be over my dead body. Go. Mind the things you say. Obiago. Are you insane? Have you completely gone out of your mind? How can you wake up one morning and decide to do something that will kill you? Tell me, how are you sure that taking that title will not end your life? Where is your guarantee? We are still under the course. My love. Support me here. Support you? Look, you only get to be supported when you discuss this kind of a decision with your partner first before taking them. See, I'm only doing this. I know why you're doing this, Obim. But do you really need to meet a certain condition before being with me? Am I not with you already? Am I not already here? Obim. Oh, yeah. If you're desperate to legalize your union with her, 
Why don't you just go to the court? Where is it written that a man has to be an ozo before he marries a wife? Get to the court and I will support you. They will take a title that ends your life, even the life of Umwebe and her king. Mm. <clears throat> what is wrong with you? Ogini. No, no, I'm just... Uh... <laughs> Oh, what is it? Oh, what is it? What's what wrong with your head? What is it? What's now? He's the title. I said it. He is the title. Why would he agree to do this? Why would you agree to put your life in danger? What's up? What's going on? What's my fault? Obiago, what is it? After everything he did for you. You had to pay him back by putting his life on the line. I think you're making a mistake here. But it's not exactly what you think. What exactly am I supposed to think? We all know you don't want Obiago to marry the princess. So why go ahead and ask him to give up his life for that purpose? What kind of a wicked man are you? Now, can, can you please calm down? And hear my own side of the story. Can you please calm down? Calm down! I will not calm down! I don't care about the fact that you are the king of Fumwebe. Because I came here to warn you. If anything should happen to my nephew. If anything should happen to my nephew. Can you listen to... I hope this is your heart beating. Is it? Rip it off you and eat it. It's not a bluff, it's a promise. And I'm at you, and I'm at you. Oh, Guinea, come here, oh, put on you. Then I heard a voice shouting, There must be cleansing in the baby. Please, what is it? I said, I am fine. What is, what is your problem? Why is it so hard for you to understand the fact that sometimes a woman needs to be left alone? What's so hard to understand? Because this is unlike you, baby. You are being so stupid right now. Please just let me be. Let me be. Did I do something wrong? Who cares? You think I care? Let me be. Just leave here. Leave! I'll leave, leave here, please. Just like that? Is it Ibia? I am telling you he was unconscious when I left him. He just grabbed his head, screamed, and passed out. We are all confused. I don't know why he will agree to something as taking also title. I don't know why. Take me to him. Take me to him. Okay, sir. You feel better now? Hmm? Yes, I'm fine. Why are you looking at me that way? I'm fine. What's going on? Uncle, I have no idea. One minute he's sick, the other minute he's well. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Obiago, are you alright? Very much. Son. Tell me, what exactly happened? And how did it happen? Mm. SDB, I don't know exactly what happened, but all I know is that right now, I feel much stronger. I then have to go upstairs and get some rest. Yes, good. <laughs> Thank you.
Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. I said, Dibia, I still don't understand. I saw him scream. I saw him fall. If I did not check to find out he had a pulse, I would have sworn that he was dead. I see. Esetibia, I am confused. Help me. Don't be confused. Hey, why don't we have an eye on him? Why would take time to find out what exactly happened? I will, Esetibia. Trust me. I will. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you for coming, Ezedibia. This boy will not kill me. Mamun. Ah. Then I heard a voice shouting, "There must be cleansing in the land." Yes, his uncle is still here. I'm sure he will be in a better position to talk to him. All right, I'll talk to you later. What are you saying? Is he down again? Uncle is not down. But he has refused to go and see the doctor. I was even thinking you went to get the doctor. No, 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 no. I didn't go to call any doctor. Because some conditions are superior to medical science. How, Uncle, how do you mean? Oh, come on. You are a princess. You're supposed to know what I'm saying. I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Oh, there is my girl. It's so good to see you again. Come out, Daddy. Don't. Excuse me. I caused the day you became my father. Princess. Don't you ever call me that. I am not your princess. I am not your daughter, and I refuse to be a member of this cursed family. Oh, princess, what has come over you? Why are you sounding like this? Why? Why? You put the life of the only man I've ever loved in danger. And you're asking me why I am sounding like this? How can one man be so heartless, corny, and devious? Oh, come on, princess. It's not what you think. Listen to me. Why didn't you just tell him that that's what everything he has done for you, that he will not be my husband? Why set a dangerous trap for him? Why ask him to put his life in danger? Oh, come on, princess. I didn't do that. Stop so pretending as if you don't know what I'm talking about, father. You know what I'm talking about. Obiago has decided to take the Ozor title. Now he has fallen sick. What? If anything happens to him, if anything happens to the man I have ever loved, Burn down this palace, starting with your throne. Excuse me. Amen, rock and the fool. Oh, Chichi, we were on no putanyo. So, he's sick. Goodness me. What have I done? Then I heard a voice shouting, there must be cleansing in the land. Onyeze, I agree you are the king and the political head of this kingdom. And what are you insinuating by that? That I am just a politician who is not relevant in the scheme of things? I have not said so, Onyeze. I am only saying that we need to define our boundaries 
so we can restrict ourselves to them. I'm trying so hard to understand what you mean by that. Okay. You are the king. And that makes you the political head of this kingdom, Umwebe Kingdom. I am the SZDB of Umwebe Kingdom. And the spiritual head. And that is why I am the custodian of the seat of our progenitor. Unyeze, allow me to do my job. You are the custodian of this office. The spiritual head of this kingdom as you claim. Why didn't you see that his desire to take an Ozo title as a man of Umurola will still lead us to the same sad end that we are used to already? No, if you cannot see all these little things, what is the point calling yourself a spiritual leader? What is the point? Oh yes, sir. Be careful. Be very, very careful, Oyeze. Don't doubt the gods. Don't question the gods. Don't tempt the gods. Don't disobey me. Because it will backfire. You know what? Watch me. Your Majesty, this is a surprise. If anyone had told me that a day like this would come when your majesty, the king of Umebe, would step his feet in my house, I would laugh at the person and call the person a liar. Obiago, how are you doing today? I see you heard of my brief incident. That wasn't an incident. It was an attack on your health. Simply because you are a man of Umorola, who decided to take the Oso title. So? So I want you to drop the quest for the title. And that is why I have come here to tell you that whether you are a titled man or not, I am giving you my blessings. Go ahead and marry my daughter. That would be a shame, Your Majesty. Not only on you, but on the woman I love. You've explained everything to me. And I'm going to take the title. Whether the gods of whom I like it or not. Whether the universe likes it or not. Tobiago, you'll doubt me when I say this. But from the very moment you revealed your true self to me, I have not been able to stop myself from liking you. I have not been able to stop myself from loving you as my own son. And which is why I am here to tell you that if you are still insisting or deciding to go ahead to take that title, I will do everything in my power to stop you. Wow. Wow. All this simply because you don't want me to die? Not just that. But also the fact that if anything bad happens to you, my daughter will never forgive me. So will you now listen to me and stop everything about this Ozo title? No tradition can change my love for you. Now tell me, why do you want to take the Ozo title? I feel I can afford it. I gathered that I must pay all the debts owed by existing members. And to the best of my knowledge, that runs into tens of millions of Naira. 
Money is not my problem. Hmm? I can afford it. I want to be an Ozo. And what we know over time, considering where you're coming from, you may lose your life before you'll be declared an Ozo. Men who are men are not afraid of death. I want the title. Oh, Hmm. You know, I'm happy that we're like this again. What do you mean? You were acting strange yesterday. <sighs> well, I, I wasn't acting strange. I was just in a very bad mood and I needed time to, 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 to just cool off. Very well. Those things happen. So what was the problem? That's none of your business. Excuse me? What did you say? Do you tell me about your feelings and mood every single minute of the day? Do you? No. So why am I expected to tell you mine? Again, this is not like you. Something is off with you, beauty. You know, I really wanted to spend the whole time with you today. But it seems nothing is working. Beauty. For you is very pure of the moon. I might not be perfect, but I love you. Who did I marry? I might not be perfect, but I love you. Your Majesty, with all due respect, I am confused. Everybody is confused. That is why I summoned you here to give me a solution. What solution can I possibly give my king? When Akid Yemor Khan, Yezidibia, the priest of Umwebe himself, has made an emphatic statement that Obiago is, uh, is qualified to go ahead and take the title. So the only solution is, is, is if, um, if Obiago himself will have a change of mind and say, I am no longer interested in the title. And you know that uh, he's not going to do that. If that happens to be the case, there is nothing anybody can do about it. And what if there is something we can do? Something like what, my king? You have been my friend for a very long time. Mm -hmm. And as a result, my children have always considered you to be their second father. Haven't they? Yeah, they have, my king, but I am trying to understand the connection with that to the issue under discussion. You need to do something for me. Ujima, what are we going to say? I mean, how are we going to present this to the princess? Don't worry. I, I know how to present it to her. You do? Yes. I'll try. I equally know what to say. All of us cannot say something now. It's only each other that can speak. She's our leader. It's okay. I know what to say to her and how exactly to say it. Please make sure you make sense. Uh, I'll try. You troublesome girls. What are you doing here? My princess.
I'm asking again. I asked, what are you doing here? My princess, the truth is, you have every reason to be angry with us. We have no words to justify what we did to you. There is no excuse whatsoever. We, we shouldn't have done what we did to you. But then, we ignorantly did it. And we are truly sorry, my princess. Even though we don't deserve your forgiveness, we still dare to request that you please find a place in your heart to forgive us. Please, please, please. Please. I'm so sorry. From the depths of our hearts, please. we are truly, truly, Sorry. Please. Please forgive us. I'm sorry. Malichangwa, please. Listen to me, my son. Your marital problems are the least of my concerns at the moment. I have more important things to worry about. Fathers. Please. You really would have to drop this attitude of yours. Listen. Instead of disturbing my peace, you should rather be thinking of a way to help your sister out of an impending doom. What is wrong with you? What, what, what impending doom, Dad? What are you talking about? Dad, what is going on? What is the A pending doom. Have I gotten so carried away by my own marital challenges that I have totally, totally lost sight of my immediate family's challenges? Oh, Even the know of whom the kingdom has reached out to me, asking me for help. It means you are working. Please, sustain what you are doing. I don't want them to reverse what I am enjoying. Oh, Your Majesty, I am. Um, I know you are expecting good news. But the issue here is that uh, it didn't work out. What do you mean it didn't work? Your Majesty, an opportunity for me to even make a request was not provided. Because the stupid native doctor that I visited, he, he didn't want to have anything to do with me or Umwebe in general. I don't understand. Does that mean that we've lost hope? Your Majesty, sincerely, I don't even know what to think now. You see, a sham that will make Ubiago marry the princess immediately and forget about everything concerning taking the other title. It is indeed a very wonderful idea. But as you can see that it is not working out, I am thinking that now that our human effort has failed us, I am thinking that we should allow Shukuo Kikabiyama in his wisdom to handle this his own way. Amen. Back on the Your Majesty, why are you leaving when we are still discussing? Oh yes, you really need to have a grip of yourself. Eh? Yeah. <laughs>
What is it? I'm sorry. What is it? It's just that the cook has already prepared everything for you. So what? I ask you. So what? Listen, I do not care what the cook has prepared or what she has done. Do I look like a maid in this palace? Do I have to be in the kitchen before everything is done? Do I? But your husband... Your husband what? Listen, I don't care if he starves to death. I do not care. Do I look like those miserable ladies that spend all their time in the kitchen? Do I look like that? Now leave this place. Leave this place. Get out of this place if I decide to use your, your, your body for the many great ingredients in that kitchen. Drop it everywhere. Huh. I can't believe she, she... I can't believe she just forgave us just like that. I regret everything we did to her. What was I thinking? I mean, what were we thinking? We shouldn't have attacked her the way we did. More importantly, we should have understood that it's not her fault she fell in love with Obiagu. In life, we don't get to choose who we fall in love with. Exactly. It's not possible. Exactly. Eh? I mean, we all condemned her over something that was out of her own control. Something very natural. Love is a beautiful thing now. Eh? I thank God she forgave us. But still, I feel they need to do more, you know, to make up for what we did. Mm? All we need to do is just support her in every way we can. I'm really feeling this guilt in me. She, she's a nice person. Oh, believe me, after discovering that Obiago is the king's anonymous donor, hey! The entire people of Umwebe are strongly behind the princess. Oh, oh. You see? You see what I'm talking about? Let's go. You know, under normal circumstances, I should be chastising you for leaving this my house and the paying a visit to Murola. But I'm not doing that. Because actually, I am very happy with what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. <laughs> you see, this is one of those things that you will do and I will begin to tell myself secretly that indeed, even when I may not say it openly, I will be telling myself that I am indeed very proud of my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> Father, thank you. You know? I don't know what you're saying. No, but... no, no, but I'm just telling you the truth. Thank you, Father. There are some men who will be looking at their children and they will not be so sure if they actually fathered those children. But I'm different. Oh. The each time I look at you, I know it in the deepest part of my heart that this indeed is my daughter. <laughs> yeah? Thank you, Father. Thank you. I uh, you appreciate what you just did. Father, I feel good because you never say these words. You always shout. That is, why, that is why a strong man is a strong man. Always, <laughs> uh, when the time will come and he will say what he has not said. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Father. You're Thank welcome. you very You're much. Welcome. And by the way, we finally came to a decision. And what is the decision? That the princess is going to lead us in the festival rituals. Yes, Father. That's good. And should I understand that to mean that equally you Yes, will... Father. That whether she gets married to Obiagu or not, she will always be one of our maidens, our leader, and our princess. Yes, Father. I need to understand something. I need to, you know, hear it again. Okay. You are saying that it is going to happen whether she is married to Obiago or not. Whether she is married to Obiago or not. She remains our most treasured maiden, our princess, our leader, whether she is married to Obiago or not. Are you satisfied, Father? Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Thank because you, of this thing you just said now, I actually, I owe you one. 
You know what? Tell me. Something for you. <laughs> something for you. <laughs> I am telling you, and when I say something for you, it's actually something very nice. Father. I am proud of you, my dear. Thank you, Father. <laughs> but Father, you, you promised me money. And I just promised you that I would do something for you. Why are you not thinking that is something bigger than money? Well, Father, because you have promised me money before. So that is one promise. Okay. When you add that to this new promise, that makes it two. So you're going to give me money and that thing that is bigger than money. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Father. Well, for a start, can you just go to my room and bring me my whiskey? Yes, my Father. My gin, gin. Yes, I will do that. Anything for you. Kai, kai, mo. I know, Father. Yo, Let me bro. get it. Everything is possible. Eh? Beautiful daughter of mine. I am very proud of you indeed. Eh, it's bad now. Are you going to hit me? You can hit me. Go ahead and hit me, Upiago. I'm not going to be alive and watch you commit suicide. It is not going to happen. Never. Uncle, for the last time, leave my way. Move me. Go ahead and move me. For you to leave this house today, you will have to move me. Yes. Uncle, whether you like it or not, I am going to take that title. Fine. Good. Move me. Uncle. Uncle. Yes? I... What is it? What is it? Did you, did you hit him? Of... Uncle, did you do I... anything to him? I did not touch him. Uh... Yeah, my beloved. Okay. Obiaku, what is it again now? Oh, are you sure you didn't hit? Obiaku, 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 Obiaku.